Hello, welcome to Spy Money. We're going to talk about SpyBot Ranger Indicator for Ninja Trader 8. How it did today on RTY. Uh, today is Tuesday, November 30th. And let's get right to the charts. So we go into the chart and we're looking at RTY. And the way the uh, indicator works, if it's above the yellow, you, know, you enter a, a long here. And if it goes below, you enter a short there. If it's in between these yellow lines, you're better off not to trade it. Although you can, and there's a, a different strategy, but we won't get into that. Let's just talk simplified money. Yellow to red. That's our that's our strategy. Right here, uh, as soon as this broke down and you entered the trade and it started coming down, you put a break-even loss in there, uh, usually right around somewhere between a half and one point. So we're through there. Just enough to cover your loss if it would go back. Uh, there's a good chance you might have lost here, and if you did, it would be $100 per contract if you left your stop up there. So worst case scenario, $100. On this one, you would enter the trade, and when it broke through, your stop would go to the white mark there. And all of these lines and levels are automatically figured with the indicator. None of these lines on here right now, other than these two fib lines, uh, are man-made or through another indicator. All of this is through SpyBot Ranger indicator. We are adding the FIBs and I think I'm going to add, I'm either going to add the Fibonacci pivots or I'm going to add the floor, uh, the floor traders pivots and I may add them both and then it'll be a choice to you. Now, that's probably what I'll do. So I was trying to look to see what the levels would be on the RTY. So the first one, you either made 30 or lost 100 depending on how you played that. This one, you would at least made $100 because once it goes through, the strategy is you bring it down to the next level. Uh, that one you might have missed because it never actually drove through. So uh, this one's up in the air if you made 30 or if you made uh, or you lost 100. This one, you definitely would have been at $110. And this one, if you played the strategy, and this one, uh, you could have actually made several choices here. You could have went ahead and drove it down right to the red line. That is our main strategy. That's $1,400 that you would have made. So you got $1,400 and $1,510 for those two. Possibly a loss of $100. So let's just call uh, worst case scenario, you lost $100. So there's $1,410 made on that. So this would be the strategy and you would be done for the day. Uh, that is per contract. That's one contract. So roughly $1,400 that you would have made. Uh, if you would have played this exact strategy, then you would have been $1,500, $1,540. So uh, $1,400 to $1,500 depends on how you play it. Now, another way you can play this is you once you get in, you can just stay in and you move your stop down on the pullback. So when this went down, we pull back, you put your stop there and you come down. I personally like to take profit on the red. And then after we have taken profit on the red, then you can decide what you want to do. When we bounce here, uh, we come back, you could have entered a long here and put your stop down below, possibly lost a little money, but then again, you could have made more. So let's look to see what you could have made. If you would have entered, um, say, right on the open of that candle, and if you run it right on up to the top, there's $980. More than likely, when this run through and started going up, you would be chasing it, uh, chasing your candles, and you would probably have gotten stopped out right there. So you're probably $865. So let's just call it $800 extra that you could have made on that trade. Now, once it goes up and hits that and starts to come down, pull them back, you can see that it's coming down. So on this one, instead of coming off the top, let's just say you get in right there. And if you got in right there, that is going to make $1,730 to run it all the way. Now, another way to look at it is if you run it right down to the red line, which is our strategy, that's 865. So you were already up about $1,500 here. If you took this trade, that would pitch another 865. And then if you took this trade, That'd be another 865. So there's roughly uh, 18, 30, so just over $3,000 that you would have made on these trades. That's one contract at $500 too. 
So it depends on how you would have played this. The actual strategy is yellow to red. So if you play yellow to red, there's your money. And, you know, sometimes it don't come down just like it did here, but we chase it to the level. So on this one here, when we broke through and come down, our stop would be here. When we come through and then we finally broke down, our stop would be here. We come through, we broke down, our stop would be up here. All while our profit taking is right here. That is our level that we're looking for, the red level. So red is green in this case. So you would have been one tick above that red line and you would have taken profit, $1,400. So it depends on how you wanted to play this. Another way, uh, some of the traders today ended up playing this. When it went up, it came down, we made a higher low than here and they got in over here. So when they broke out right here, they got in. And I talked to some traders today that actually took this trade. So you get in here and you run it up to your red, but this is a free trade. So why not just go ahead and, you know, maybe come up to after it goes up and starts going up and pulling back and go up. Maybe you put your stop right here. So if you put your stop right here and then when it went up and started pulling back, then you moved your stop up to here. And then when it broke through, then you start bringing it up to here because that's your next level once it broke through. And as it goes on up and starts getting close to that zone, maybe you take your profit there. Maybe you don't. So it goes up, it pulls back, and then when it goes up, you go ahead and bring your stop up to here. That's $600 right there that you can have potentially made trading this system. And then the, the person that I was talking to today that he actually entered this trade ended up taking the profit right here on the zone. Now, these zones are not on the indicator now. Tomorrow, they will be. And they will automatically fill the chart. And you in the settings, you'll just click Enable or Disable, and they will be there. So uh, your zones will be automatic. You don't have to worry about trying to learn how to do them or anything. It'll be automatic with the indicator. And they are daily. They will change daily. And the uh, zones will pop in as soon as the yellow lines pop up you'll start seeing the zones. That's when they come in. But that's really where our zones are based off from as far as our opening range. That's what we're trading during the day's opening range. But as you can see, it come down right there to the red line, which is our uh, strategy. Come up, we mess around a little bit there, mess around right here, we come down, come right back up. We stayed in this zone here. We come right up to the zone. And come down almost to the red line, real close. You could have uh, been a hard trade, but you could have took a trade there. When it is in a bullish run, I usually won't take the short, especially when you come down and you come back up. Um, maybe you did take that. It's not a trade I would have taken probably. And then finally, when you come down here and go to bounce up, this is a trade that I would take. So when it comes up, I would be getting in here, which would be the break of this high, and then go ahead and take it up. Maybe you take it to this zone. That's 275. That's a lot of money, guys. And then it pulls back and then it goes up. So your stop would be here. And then when it goes up and pulls back, your stop will be here. And then as it goes on up, maybe you, you know, maybe you take it right there on the fib. Maybe you took it on this fib. This fib will be 425. This one is 795, actually about $800. So it depends on where you want to take profit, and that is completely up to you what you do. So taking a look at it, um, this thing has different ways that you can trade, and it works really well. Um, I haven't had anybody be upset with any of it, and they're making money with it. Uh, one guy sent me a thing today. She, he said that was his last hope in trying to learn how to trade, and today he made I think it was $290, I think it was, that he made, which was a really good thing because he's trading micros. I had another guy that was trading micros. He made like $330, I think it was. His goal was to make $300 a day. So you don't have to go with huge amounts of money to make money. Uh, maybe your goal is $100 a day, or if it's $500 or whatever. Uh, my personal goal, I like to make $1,000 a day. That's that's kind of my goal. I always, I won't say always, but I usually uh, make a whole lot more than that. But $1,000 is my goal. 
Uh, if I make $1,000 a day, that is $260,000 a year just trading for $1,000. Uh, some days I won't make that. Some days I don't trade at all. But for the uh, most part, it's uh, quite a bit more. So trading is all about what you, you know, what your goals are with and stuff. And this one here, um, market just opened. And, but the indicator is actually set up. Actually, let's see if we go back to a 50 tick and see what it looks like here. A market just opened. And we have our pivots right here. And like I said, I've got two pivots on here. They're not with the bot at this time. I'm just testing. Uh, but we do have our other pre-market highs and lows and and our um, we have our previous day highs and so forth. There's a lot of lines on here, but they all make sense once you watch the training video. It's really easy to um, understand. The main thing is this: if you if you can just know this one thing. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back. right here now, this is on a 50 tick it's hard to see let me go back to one minute you can trade it on any time frame you want to it doesn't matter uh, what time you want uh the main thing is yellow to red that's your strategy uh, again you won't always make it down here but you can just take it to each level and then go from there uh, it actually works really well if you can't make money with this i, I don't know why you couldn't, uh, but if you can't, um, maybe trading is not for you. It's it's really pretty simple if you follow the rule as yellow to red. Yellow to red, and you make money daily. Uh, I mean, if you look back on this day here, let's see here, right there, uh, there's the red line, and there's a lot of colors in here because we're doing some stuff, but right there's the yellow line. And here's the red line. There's one trade. You're in and out. Uh, right here is another one. It went from there almost to it, but it did hit our zone. So just from right there, uh, this was yesterday's. I've already done a video on it. But from there to there, that's not even taking the low. There's $1,635. I think it's actually $1,630. And then if you take this one all the way down to, say, you took it right to that zone, then that's $1,325. So... There's roughly $3,000 yesterday. And then today, we had the, um, let's see, 110, 30, so there's uh, 140, uh, 15, so there's roughly $1,500 if you never traded any of the other. So if you got any questions about it, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you if you need to talk to me or something. Uh, fill out the contact form on the website, and whenever you do that, I will be the one to get the information. And also, let me pull this up here. Uh, look right here. There is a coupon right there for 20% off. So if you go to this uh, my website, spotmoneyllc.com, at the top, you click right here, and that will take you to the indicator to purchase. And then here is your coupon. You can save 20% off through Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. Uh, there's also a little training video here talking about how we use it. It goes in a little more detail. And we also have other products. So these are our most popular products sold. And you can just scan through those. Uh, I will be building a bot, which is SpyBot. And I'll be build, building a bot for this uh, to learn how to trade it. So the bot will come on and it will just enter the trades, put your stops, your profit targets and everything in place. At that time, um, you could actually move the targets if you want or just let it play out. You can do a trail stop behind it. A uh, lot, of, lot of different things that you can do with it. Uh, again, if you can trade yellow to red, you can make money. Have a great day.